Thank you for joining us today. My name is Justin Miller. I am the webinar and video producer here at Wowza Media Systems, and I am here with Robert Bacante. Robert is the Senior Product Manager for Wowza Streaming Cloud. Robert, how's it going today? Great. How are you, Justin? I'm doing okay. Good. I hear that you have something to tell us regarding I do. Wowza Streaming Cloud. I do. Um, we are excited to be able to announce the general availability of Wowza CDN on Fastly. Um, this is a new CDN option for us that we're giving to all of our customers. It gives these customers access to one of the industry's best CDNs that's out there. Um, they've got global reach, they've got outstanding performance, and they have the massive scale that all of our customers are starting to need. So um, it's available on every one of our packages and it's something that's going to be available to everyone right away. All right. Well, that's great to hear. Yeah. Um, can you give us an idea of what kind of benefits you'll get then by doing Yes, all absolutely. Um, there are two big benefits that customers are going to see right away. And the first one, and the one that I think people will notice the most, is about the ability to see their viewer and usage data in real time. Um, in the past, sometimes that has been delayed by hours or in some cases days. So if you're trying to understand how your audience is consuming your content, um, what the usage is in different regions around the world, or even what the bandwidth usage is, that's not something that we previously had readily as readily available. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to see that. It typically takes seconds. At worst case, it's a couple minutes, but it's still way faster and gives you an opportunity to react to your customers as they're consuming your stream. Um, and the one other thing worth mentioning is that we've simplified some of our security options. It makes it easier. Um, I'll give a demo of that, but previously our support um, operation had to be involved and had to enable some of the security options. And now it's something that customers can just do self-service. Great. That's great yeah. to hear. Now, um, to use Wowza CDN on Fastly, we need to set up a stream target for this, right? You do need to set up a stream target, or if you're using the live stream workflow, that remains unchanged. You can okay. just set up a live stream workflow, and now the default is going to be Wowza CDN on Fastly. Um, I, I do want to point out that for the existing customers that are out there that have streams that they've already created, those are going to remain the same. We're not retroactively going back and reconfiguring those streams. So if you've got a stream that's configured, it's going to continue to work the way that it always has. Yeah. Um, would you like me to show you? Absolutely. Great. Let's walk through the process here. So when you are creating a stream target, generally you go up and you select that stream target and then choose Add Target, of course. And you'll note that Wowza CDN on Fastly is the first option that we have available. It's as easy as clicking Add and giving it a name. So at this point, you go ahead, give that new target a name, hit Add, and we've created a, a Fastly stream target. That's really all there is to it. Now that said, I did mention that I wanted to talk about the security features. Mm -hmm. um, if we go in and we look, um, token authentication is one that gets used a lot. And previously, when we would go in and create a secret, we would now have to go in and call support. And support would need to um, enable it and make sure that it actually worked. At gotcha. this point, as soon as this is done, you're, you're ready to go. You've got this, uh, this token ready to go, and you can use it immediately. Um, and the one other thing I just wanted to talk about that I pointed out already is if we go in and we look at the, one of the streams that's actually running, and I have one that's already been set up, as we look at all this different information about viewers and bandwidth and the stream processing, and in particular the viewer data and the bandwidth that's mm -hmm. coming back from Fastly, or while the CDN on Fastly, all of this information is coming along, it's coming in very quickly. Um, there are circumstances in which it could take a minute or so, but typically what we've seen is is that it only takes a couple seconds and you're seeing that information right away. So you really have insight into how your customers are consuming that content and where they're consuming it around the world. Awesome. This is great. And I definitely can see that it makes security a lot easier for somebody. It does. It does. Having to contact us each time. It does. And um, our support people are very happy <laughs> as well. No, I'm sure they are. Uh, you know, many users definitely always like to know what is coming sure. up on the roadmap. And certainly, well, this is great, you know, how they can go about implementing these capabilities or something they've love to know about the future. Is there anything you can tell us? Yeah, there are two things that we're working on right now that I think are going to be of particular interest. And um, those two things, the first one I'll talk a little bit about is video on demand. Um, we've had uh, requests from customers to be able to do more than live. They have a live stream and they want to be able to repurpose it and have you viewers watch it at a time that's convenient to them. So we're working on video on demand and asset management, which is effectively taking those videos, having them stored someplace, and allow them to be available either for replay or for the customer to pull them to themselves when it's convenient for them. Um, Fastly is actually an important component of that. Um, the way that the, the, the architecture that we're using in order to be able to write um, streams 
makes it possible for us to much more easily create video on demand. So this is something that um, is actually a byproduct of our work on Fastly. And then the second project that's closely related is our Data Insights project. And the Data Insights project, some of you may have seen that at recent trade shows where we were showing it. Um, we showed it at IBC just recently. What it enables us to be able to do is have even deeper understanding into the way customers are using, your, using their streams or how those streams are being broadcast. So it's an entire new layer in WOWS's platform and makes it possible for us to see that information and a great deal more about performance. So whether it's for troubleshooting or performance, you'll be able to tune it much more easily because this information will be much more readily available to you. Um, it's very much in an early stage in our development, um, so it's something that we're unlikely to be able to release right away, but it's definitely one of our higher priorities that we're trying to get released. And I'm very excited actually to be able to demo both of these on a future session. Me too. I'm actually excited for you to do more videos like this so we can be on it together. Um, but thank you for joining You're me today. You're very welcome. For anybody who wants more information on this, please do check out our website and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Justin.